Oh, you guys, I'm so excited about this. It's really funny when this happens. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping all over the place and not making a complete sentence. That's how excited I am. I'm so excited that I'm actually nervous, like I feel butterflies in my stomach, because I have this giant box and I'm gonna open it with you and I don't know what's in it. I know that there are some handbags, I know there are some small goods, but I don't know what they are. Curious to know more? Stay tuned. Hi YouTube, Autumn Beckman here. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My channel is all about luxury living on a budget from high-end luxury handbags and small goods to the everyday luxuries of life. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you subscribe, click the bell notification icon to be notified when I post new videos and be sure to like the videos that you enjoy. And one of the perks of subscribing to my channel is you get to see my community post on your YouTube homepage where I post deals, discount codes, sales, and rare finds related to these beautiful things we love. So I have this mystery box. This is from Portland Leather Goods. You may remember a couple weeks ago, I unboxed a mystery box from them and that was sent to me by Portland Leather Goods because I'm an affiliate with them. But I also told you in that video, I had already previously purchased before I became an affiliate, a mystery box. That's not this one though. You'll see that one another time. So that one was my first. The affiliate box was my second. This is my third mystery box. And this one I did purchase myself. I've purchased every Everything, all of my PLG stuff except that one affiliate box. So all the other things in my collection from PLG and it's a lot bigger than I want to admit yet. Someday I'll do a collection video. All of those I have purchased myself. Hey guys, surprise, Autumn from the future here with some very big news. After my last Portland Leather Goods mystery box video went up, Portland Leather Goods reached out to me and I guess they liked the video because they have offered to do a giveaway for you guys. So make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video for details on that. You could win your very own Portland Leather Goods handbag and you get to pick it out yourself. Now back to regularly scheduled programming. Let me show you my bag of the day, speaking of. And I haven't shown you the unboxing of this bag yet, so this will be a surprise and then you'll have to wipe your memory clean this is the mini crossbody tote, and this is in the color Kiwi. Now this one I purchased pre-loved, because Kiwi's not sold on the website anymore. If it ever was, I'm not sure. Still learning about this company. I love that color. I've purchased quite a few different greens of theirs, and someday I'll do a greens video to compare all the greens that I have. So let me tell you about this mystery box. So first of all, wide view here, Portland, oh wait, I'm supposed to say something else before I get into all this. This video is a collaboration. I love the products from this company so much. They're all top grain leather. They're wonderful and there's just so much I love about them. I love them so much that I got some of my YouTube friends to try out mystery boxes as well. Now a couple of them didn't want to do a mystery box so they picked out particular items that they wanted, but I will have all of their videos linked below. So when you're done watching this video, you can go see theirs too and see what they got. And you can get a, a broad picture of what Portland Leather Goods has to offer and what we all think about them from different perspectives. So I'm collaborating with Winnie B. L. V. She got a mystery box. She got the same mystery box I got, but she'll have different things in hers. Dawn of Dawn Loves Couture. She got a mystery box, but a different one from the one Winnie and I got. Editing Autumn here. Jame of James Jam is also now joining us. It's a party. Yota Style and Eva of Fuchsia Floyd. The two of them each picked out some items that they wanted instead of doing a mystery box. Totally fine. Mystery boxes are not for everybody. They are a gamble. They are not returnable and you don't know what's in them. So here's the deal. At the time that I purchased this one, there were three different kinds of member. There were three different kinds of mystery boxes available. And then within those kinds, there were different variations. And Portland Leather Goods does switch up the different kinds of boxes that they offer. So when I purchased this, they had a mini crossbody tote mystery box. So this is the mini crossbody. They had a medium crossbody tote, which is the same bag, but bigger. And they had a classic shoulder tote mystery box. So of those three, each one, they had a box that had one bag and four small leather goods or two bags and six small leather goods, 
or three bags and eight small leather goods. Those classic totes that go on your shoulder, they also had a mystery box with just one tote and no small goods. So they vary these and they tend to sell out fairly quickly, especially the totes, those seem to go first. So if you ever see them available and you're interested, jump on it, but also know that I think the totes especially are gonna come around again and the other ones they seem to switch up. Like sometimes they'll have boxes that don't have any bags and they're just small leather goods. If you see something you're interested in, get it is my point because <laughs> you may miss out if you don't. With the boxes that have three bags, you're guaranteed to get at least one what they call unicorn color. These are colors that are not offered on their website. Now you may get a unicorn if you just get one bag or you may get one that has the two bag box. It's possible that you could get two unicorns or three unicorns. I'm ready to get into the box, how about you? I know I said the last time you saw one of these when I opened the affiliate box, that it's exciting, but it's also kind of nerve wracking because you don't know what's in here. You know, some people get really disappointed with their mystery boxes because they have something really specific in mind and they don't get that. And then they're disappointed. I've been surprised that of the boxes that I have gotten, there have been quite a few things that I would not have picked out for myself if I had like gone to the website or gone to the store and seen them there, but I've loved them and I've been carrying them and using them and really enjoying them. And so I'm excited about it. I'm excited to try new things and almost be forced to try new things. So here is the little card that comes with it. They have several different cards that they send. Here's a peek inside the box. Also, the ladies I'm collaborating with, again, their videos will be linked below, we have talked about, at least the ones that got mystery boxes, we have talked about if there's anything we don't like that maybe we can trade with each other or even buy from each other potentially. So we'll see how that goes. All right, I'm gonna pull out the first bag on top here. And the way they do this is those eight small leather goods are gonna be wrapped up inside the three bags. So I guess what I'll do, you know, what I'd really love to do is open all the small goods first and then open the bags because the bags are like the big things, right? But since all the small goods are inside, I have to open the bags first. So we'll do these one at a time. And I've said before this cream tissue paper, I can feel I got something pebbly and soft. Uh, the, the cream tissue paper, it's really kind of deceptive because you can see a little bit of color in here and I feel like I have some ideas of what it could be. Every time I have thought, oh, I know what color that is, and then I take the tissue paper completely off, it's a totally different color. So I, I think my guess is that this is some kind of red or pink, but let's find out here. Okay. Oh, oh, that is bright. Oh, I know what this is. This is called sugar. This is a kind of muted red color. It looks a lot more red on the screen than it is. I have shown you this color before because I got this snap journal in my affiliate box that's in the same color, the same leather. So that's what it looks like. It's got this little journal in here. I just noticed it's a zip tote too, yay. Now this is not a color I would have picked out for myself right now in this moment. I don't know if this is one that I would keep or try to trade or sell, we'll find out. Let's see what small goods are in it and then we'll check out the other two bags I got. Oh, and by the way, if you hadn't already figured it out, I got the medium crossbody tote mystery box. Here's the mini next to it, it's Christmas. So that gives you a little size comparison in case you're wondering. What I'm finding is when I have pops of color, I like the smaller bag. And then when I have more neutrals or more of a work bag, or I just need to carry more, I like the medium. Let me show you the interior on this bag. So here we go, it's the raw suede inside. It's a really pretty color. And it has this pocket inside with the patch that says Portland Leather Goods and that will fit a phone. In fact, here's my iPhone 10, so definitely fits in that outside pocket. And then here it is in the inside pocket. And that's not a Max, just a regular one. And the crossbody strap is removable. It attaches to some D-rings inside the bag. So you can tuck the strap in completely and it's not hanging outside, which is really nice. And the sugar leather is super smushy, which I love. Forgot to mention earlier, this occasion calls for pink champagne. Indeed, we are celebrating a box full of amazing handbags. Also, when I got this box out of our Amazon package lockers, the leather smell hit me right away. You could smell it through the box, the sealed box. Okay, let's go ahead and see what small goods were in the sugar colored bag. 
Oh, I think I know some things. Oh boy. Ooh, I think I got something I've been wanting. And another thing I've been wanting, something I can't tell what it is, and then something I may already have. So there are four items in that bag. Let's open two of these right now. Let's open the one that I don't know what it is. I cannot tell at all. I have no idea what this is by feeling it. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. I didn't have one of these yet. I've seen people get them. It's a keychain clip thing. Heavy duty. I'll probably give this to Paul. It's stamped Portland Leather Goods, and this is in their smooth black leather. That could be useful when we're out hiking somewhere in Oregon, perhaps. Okay, let's also open this. What color is it? Okay. This one smells a little bit weird. I'm gonna guess this is Canyon, but I don't know. The darker browns, I'm not as familiar. Not Canyon. Um, nutmeg perhaps? And I actually just bought one of these from a seller online on Mercari, but in a different color. I got it in the honey color. This looks like nutmeg, I think. So this one, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll give that to Paul too. He might like that. All right, here's the next bag. Let's get this open. Okay, I see you. This one? Hold on. I think I know what this is, because I'm looking at it. Okay. I don't know what it is. I need to look on their website and figure this one out. I got a very dark brown tote. It has a little bit of grain to it. I'll bring it closer so you can see it. And there's the bottom. So here's the grain. It's almost smooth, but it has a lot of wrinkling in it. And then the interior color, sometimes the, out, sometimes the exterior colors look very similar and you can't really tell them apart until you look at the inside and how the dye has taken to the interior. But it's very pretty. I like the color a lot. It's very, very nice. I like the slight variations that you can see in the color there. There's the bottom and the interior of this bag, and the other side with the pocket. So you can see this one does not have a zipper. It also doesn't have a snap or anything. It's just open. All right, so that was bag number two. And that bag didn't have any small goods inside, so the other four will be in the last bag. But let's go ahead and open the other two that came in the first bag. And this right here is exactly what I thought it was and it's the color I thought it was. This is their utility pouch in the color Satsuma, which is a peachy orange. Now the thing is, I recently purchased this exact piece. I love Satsuma, it's beautiful. Do I need two of these? Probably not. This piece I am excited about because I can tell from touching it, feeling it, exactly what it is, and I have been thinking about getting one. This may be the thing I'm most excited about so far in this box. <gasps> And it's a color I love. Oh, it's something different actually. But I was still wondering about getting one of these. Oh, I just discovered this color and I purchased a piece in it and I'm, I'm, I love it. And I want to get a bag in this color. In fact, I tried to buy a bag last night off eBay. I had it in my cart. I was in the checkout process in the same color. And then as I'm going through the process, I get an alert that the price had changed and it was $125 and it went up to $140. It's like, what? So I messaged the seller and I was like, hey, I was checking out and the price got changed to 140. Can you sell it to me for 125? And they didn't even respond. They just deleted my offer and then the bag was gone. So I don't know what happened there, but something was fishy. Okay, here's what I got. Ta-da. This is the Rancher wallet and it's in the indigo blue, which is so beautiful. It looks like, in photos, it looks like kind of a nubuck leather where it has a little tooth to it. And I guess it a tiny bit does, but it's really pretty smooth and it just has this textural color variation that's so pretty. Now let's look in here. So you open this up and then you open this up. And this piece down here is just a big flat pocket. And then this has three slots where you can put cards. And this is also a big pocket here. Now what I saw on their website is that you could put cards in there and then slip your phone in here. Uh, so a Max is not going to fit. This just fits my regular size iPhone 10. And you've got your cards and you can still snap it. There's still plenty of room for that to be able to snap. I don't know if you can see where the snap lines up, but it's way out here and then the little thing is over there. So there's room to bulk that out more. Now I don't usually carry big wallets. I haven't done that for years, but this one is so slim 
that I think I could make it work. And what I was thinking this was, was their bifold wallet, which just opens up and has card slots. I feel like these card slots that are just a slip here are a little weird because they're not pockets. It is what it is. Happy to have it to try it and I love the color. Okay, quick note on this rancher wallet that I said was indigo. This is the other piece that I have in indigo and I know for certain that this is indigo. This is a little taco pouch. This is not the same color. It's also not the same texture. So this indigo is much more smooth, like a little bit waxy, and this does have a tiny bit of a tooth to it and is more matte. So what I'm wondering here, could the Rancher wallet be Bluebell? That makes it even more special, just because it's really hard to find. Okay, here's bag number three, and I must confess, I already got a peek of it as I was pulling it out of the box. This is a color I like, but it's not a color I wanted a bag in, <laughs> so. Oh, you can see it there. This is the color violet, and it is a very saturated, deep purple with almost an indigo hue, like an ultraviolet. That's, that's what the word is. Yeah, that's a lot. The texture on this is similar to that brown leather where it's pretty smooth, but there's wrinkling in it. So there's the bag, I'll give you a spin. This does have contrast stitching, which is like a creamy color, and also, make note that some of these bags will have veining like this which I love but some people don't and you can see some more up here so just if you're looking to get PLG bags Portland leather goods and you don't know much about them yet know to expect that and this bag has a zipper that's fabulous okay I have another package of four small goods in here here's the interior on the violet beautiful there's the pocket with the patch you can see the d rings there by the way the crossbody straps on those bags are very adjustable they have about a foot of adjustability let's get into this i'm still excited but i get sad at this point because i know what all the bags are so the fun is almost over okay okay there's some good stuff in here. Uh-oh, I think I got a duplicate. I thought they wouldn't do that sort of thing. Well, at least it's a, well, it's a little different. That's a very different color. I got another key ring clip thing. This one is in the color Boysenberry, which is this deep pink purple color. And then it has kind of a brighter color on the edging there. The stamping on this has three pine trees. And then this one, the black one, like I showed you says Portland leather goods. So maybe we got his and hers keychains here. I would never use these for keys though. They're too bulky just for my taste. I'm trying to figure out what these are by feeling them. I'm not sure. Oh, I think I know what this is. Okay. And this one, I think I know what that is too. And then this one, I definitely know what it is because I can see it peeking out. So let's get into this one. It's this. Cool. This is their small makeup bag. And this is, I'm sure, in the color nutmeg. This is one I, whoops, this is a brown I feel certain about. This has to be nutmeg. I have purchased a makeup bag or two already in some colors. That's really pretty. That's, that's quite gorgeous. The colors, the red and the yellowy, that's beautiful. Okay, nutmeg is a color I've had my eye on, but I didn't have any more sizable pieces in it to really get a feel for it. That's beautiful. I'll probably end up getting a bag in this, but I want to wait till I get up to Portland to do that. Only because that's something that you can get all the time, as I understand it. I like this because I will have some brown bags, so it'll be nice to have some brown accessories. That's really pretty. The leather's very soft and smushy too. All right, let's check this one. Because, ooh, oh my gosh, score. Okay, this is a sunglasses case and I really don't need a sunglasses case. However, it's in the color avocado, which is my favorite green next to kiwi. So this will be perfect. I have a few avocado pieces already. So this will just go with that collection. And look, doesn't it just look like an avocado? I mean, exactly like one, even the inside. Inside here is this little metal piece that's a like a nose bridge thingy to help support your glasses and to keep this from crushing so they don't get crushed in your bag. It's a little hard to snap it, but there you go. That's cool. I love that they sent me an avocado piece. That's amazing. Last piece and then we will reflect. I think I know what this piece is. I don't know what color it is. I feel like it may be a red. Oh, oh yeah, okay. It's guava. 
This is their large envelope pouch. So you open that up and you put something in there. Not entirely sure what. I have a guava piece. You may remember if you saw the unboxing of the affiliate mystery box that I got a guava tote in that box. And now I have this envelope pouch to match it perfectly. That's nice. And in case you're wondering, it looks like it will fit in here if I can finagle it. Yeah, it just, it just fits, it just fits. Perfect. It could also stand up, but then it sticks out. Nice, guava is a really pretty color. It's almost a neutral. It can be a few different colors depending on the light. Okay, let's take stock. We got a his and hers keychain, a guava large envelope, this little bifold card holder that I don't know the color of, the nutmeg pouch. Okay, I'm loving nutmeg. The more I look at it, the more I love it. I got an avocado sunglasses holder, score. Indigo rancher wallet, another score. Satsuma utility pouch that I already had. Probably gonna find a new home for this. This brown bag. And then I also got the tote in sugar and the tote in violet, which look good together, but I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know where these are going. They're staying with me, being rehomed. I'm not sure yet. Overall thoughts. I loved my first two mystery boxes a lot more than I love this one. I'm a little disappointed by this one, but that's just because of my personal taste. There's nothing wrong with this box. There'd be someone else who would love all these colors. And really the only real disappointments for me are probably these just because in terms of large colored bags, these wouldn't be colors I would have picked out. And I already have this exact pouch, but that's no one's fault but mine. Would I buy another mystery box after this experience? I absolutely would. These are so much fun. And here's the thing, if you get a mystery box and you don't like something in it, or many things in it, these make fantastic gifts for other people. The mystery boxes, by the way, if you were to buy all this stuff separately, it would be about double what the cost of the mystery box is. So it's a fantastic deal. But you can gift things. You can also sell things. Autumn from the future, back again. Okay, here are the details on the giveaway. Let me get my calendar. The video you're seeing today, the video you're seeing today went up on Saturday, May 13th of 2023. Next week's video, Saturday, May 20th of 2023, is when I will announce the winner of this Portland Leather Goods giveaway. So here are the details. First of all, you do need to be in the United States because they don't, as far as I know, do not ship outside of the country. Two, if you are the winner, you get to pick any handbag that is currently in stock on their website, but it can't be a messenger bag and it can't be the roll top backpack. Those are the only exclusions I was given. If you are the winner, I will comment on the comment that you left for me. We'll get to that in just a second. And you will need to email me with your information so that I can forward that to my contacts at Portland Leather Goods. Don't leave your address and any kind of contact information in the description box below. Make sure you email. Now here's what you have to do to enter. What you'll do is comment on this video. No other videos, just this one. I mean, you can comment on other videos, but I'm only taking giveaway comments on this video. And this could be your entire comment or it could be within another comment that you were planning to leave anyway. Type the words win PLG. So W-I-N space P L G as in Portland Leather Goods. Win PLG. And then tell me what your dream bag is from Portland Leather Goods. What's the style, what's the size, and what's the color? If you could have any bag, even if you don't know if they make it, what would it be? And in addition to commenting on my video, you'll also need to follow Portland Leather Goods on Facebook. It's the Portland Leather Goods Insider Group. I'll have that linked below. And follow them on Instagram. I will also have their Instagram handle linked below, which is Portland Leather. In next week's video, I will pick the winner by doing a random comment picker. I've done this in Vlogmas videos before when I've done giveaways, and I'll film that so you can see it happening. Nobody gets special treatment. Now, once I draw the winner, I will send your name over to Portland Leather Goods to my contact there. They are gonna check their social media accounts and make sure that you're following them on those two accounts. And if you are, then you've been confirmed as the winner. They will get in touch with you and they will deal with you on the process of you picking any bag from their site almost any bag, and then they will ship that directly to you. Very exciting. And thank you so much to Portland Leather Goods for offering this opportunity to my viewers. I certainly appreciate it, and I think I can speak for them that they do too. Now back to 
other autumn. And there you go. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember, I will have all my friends' videos linked below so you can go see what's in their mystery boxes. I'm very excited to see what they got and to see if there's anything they might want to trade with me because that's something I'm still excited about, that possibility. Like maybe Winnie got something that she would want to trade one of these for or both of these for. Who knows? So that's Winnie. Don, Yota, and Eva, and James Jam, and I will have all of their videos linked below. Also, if you are interested in anything from Portland Leather Goods, please do use my link below. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Hope to see you back here next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye.